Right guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a little bit different to the normal. It's not going to be an average normal two minute Tuesday, even though I'm not sure if there is an average normal two minute Tuesday. However, we're going to aim for the two minutes this time. We'll see. But I'm going to talk to you guys about some experiences I've had and a one in particular during my camper conversion, which if you didn't know, I'm currently converting a T5 into a camper van which I can just use and go out and stay in and just enjoy. So we all know T5s, T6s, camping VWs are quite fashionable, they're quite in at the moment, it's kind of a, a trend if you like but they're kind of the, the in thing. So what comes with that is, is it comes with multiple companies have opened up to do conversions, to sell parts, to do the work to do, you know, what it, it could be from the average person who's selling stickers on eBay, or it could be all the way to the high end camper conversion companies. Now, this is just my experience, so take it with a pinch of salt, but at least listen and open your mind just to see if it's going to affect you in any way. Obviously, if you haven't it done by a company and stuff, this doesn't really affect you too much. I mean, you could be affected by it, but you, you, that's where you've got to do due diligence on the company that you're going to use. Get some proof of a portfolio build or something where they can provide you proof and evidence or recommendations of work they've done. I see it way too many times. That people have paid tens of thousands sometimes to have work done, and the work is horrendous. I mean the standard of work is very very poor and a lot of people spend thousands of their hard-earned money, hard-earned cash to get that result and it's, it is heartbreaking. So I'm not going to go off subject because I would go all day but what I'm going to explain is I call it fashion tax. So because they're trendy a lot of people have jumped on the bandwagon. I'm going to explain to you now a situation that I found myself in. Now there's quite a few local shops to where I live, VW converters if you like, and they do camp conversions on T5s and T6s, that is solely their business. And I've approached a couple because, call it networking, call it you know just a, a meet and greet, whatever you want to say, but I've drove down to a few before the lockdown and basically been like, you know, hi I'm Jay, this is what I'm doing. Uh, if you want to get together in the future, if you're, a, I like to support local good companies. I'm not looking for a return off it, but I'd like to go and like do a vlog around their shop and show their standard of work and, and you know promote local local good companies. I also approached the same couple of companies about supplying me the carpet, the insulation, things that I need because obviously, guys, I'm converting my own. I'm not taking it to a shop. I'm generally doing. I'd probably say at least 95% of the work on my own or with you know with a friend, but basically converting it myself. So I'm having to source and buy the parts so I can then fit them to continue with the conversion. So I approach them about carpet. I'm not going to name shame. I approach them about carpet and installation. I went to the toilet during the time I was at that location and their bin was next to the, the, all, the hallway to the toilet. I saw what insulation they use. It, it was only because I go up B&Q quite a lot that I noticed it. But I spoke to this company, they wanted £36 a roll for the insulation. This is the insulation. Is that light better? Is that light better? Who cares? This is from B&Q. This is what you would call a roll of insulation. It is the recycled plastic bottle tops. So it's the plastic contented stuff, which is the stuff that you need to use because you can't use the fibrous, itchy stuff, which because that holds the water, whereas the plastic stuff doesn't hold the water, doesn't hold the moisture. Now, this is a roll. It is... It is the white stuff, it is plastic, it is the stuff to use. They are local to me, so they probably even buy it from the same B&Q that I went to. Remember, I asked them to supply only. They charge £36 
I roll of this same stuff. I paid 16 pounds, so they make 20 pound a roll and that is supply only. I would imagine they charge the same when they supply and fit, but they will also have a fitting cost extra. Now, I get that they're a company and I get that they make money, so please don't get it twisted because they've got overheads and stuff, so they're gonna have to add cost on. I get that. If they can't buy it in bulk and they can't buy the reduced cost, they've got to. So don't get it twisted, guys. They've got to make money. This isn't slagging companies off for making profit. This isn't like that at all. This is clearly just to show you guys that you can get it yourself. So if you're doing your own conversion, don't jump on the bang wagon. Two rolls is £26. If you go to some camper websites people are paying hundreds for insulation and i'm sure someone will comment in the comments box below some technical terminology about the density or this or that the warmth well, i'm sorry guys for my van with glass all the way around i cannot believe if i've got the bottom panels rammed with this at 26 pounds that i will have any more warmth or hold any more heating with 100 226 pound insulation it's just not, in my opinion, controversial, I know. So uh, that's all I wanted to say. I'm not going to go on anymore. This was a quick little video just to say, look, guys, do your research. See where you can buy the stuff from, as I've mentioned, if you're doing your own conversion. See where you can get the stuff from. Speak to other people, but don't get sucked into the camper companies that supply this, this, this and this because if you're doing your own conversion you're probably wanting to save a little bit of money. You'll see I've recommended some companies so some of the wiring and the electrics I bought was not the cheapest so please don't think that I'm going for cheap, 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 a cheap budget build because I'm actually doing it to what I believe a high standard but the guys that have bought it off they was the company to use, they was fantastic and they was the pros so I don't mind spending the money where it's necessary. I just can't see £100 extra is going to give me any warmth, any better warmth than this, which is designed for a property. I don't know about the big companies, I don't know the difference, but that company, which is a reasonably recognised company quite close to me, they use this in their £9,999 camper conversions and they use this same stuff yet again please don't get this twisted i'm not slagging off companies i'm just saying use your eyes if you're doing your own you can afford to cut costs by getting stuff yourself and not buying it direct so thanks for watching sorry it's not that entertaining a little bit boring backdrop's not the best i've added a few little things just to give it something you know a little bit of a picture there you go thanks for watching guys stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. I'm trying to film me. Can I film now? Okay, I'll let you do your thing. Come on then, let's get you some food. Come on then.